Hello friends, my name is Alamgir and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you some important tips and tricks and how you can quickly edit some images in Lightroom and create some amazing looking shots in just a few clicks. So for this demonstration, we'll be using camera raw images and we are using raw because raw has so many data stored in them. You can lift up the shadows, you can bring down the highlights and have some amazing dynamic range and still do so many things in the post-production you can play it around and make the way you want it to make the way you like it so if you're not shooting in raw please turn on the raw settings in your camera and if you're already shooting in raw don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so let's jump into lightroom and take a look at it Hello friends and welcome back to Lightroom. So you can see I have three images opened up in Lightroom and I have clicked these images in my recent visit to Humpy. So if you see all these three images are shot during the sunset. If you see the first image, uh, the foreground is very dark and underexposed. But then the good thing about this image is that the sky is properly exposed. The second image is however the foreground is properly exposed but then if you see the background the sky the sky is overexposed and it's all blown out and the third image you can see it's overall very dark because the sun has already set and we will also try to edit this image and make it look the best so i'll just quickly go through these three images and show you where i usually do my editing in lightroom uh, quickly and efficiently when I don't have any time and upload something on Facebook, Instagram or anywhere else. Firstly, what I do is if you go to the histogram tab on the top left and, it, and in this image you can see most of the pixels are in the shadow region and some of them are in the midtones and very little on the highlights. So in order to lift up the shadows, what we can simply do is click on the histogram where the shadows are and drag it towards right and you can see the shadows have been lifted if you further want to lift up the shadows brighten up the shadows you what you can do is you can go to the shadow slider and just slide it and make it brighter next I'll just reduce the highlight a little bit bring down the exposure slightly increase the clarity I like to have my clarity somewhere set between 30 to 40 I like to have more clarity in my image because it gives more details into the image. It pops out all the details and makes it look better. I can control my contrast levels of the image with my tone curve. This is a simple contrast curve, bringing up the highlights slightly and bringing down the shadows slightly, making the image look more contrast. If you want to have a film fade, which is lifting up the blacks you can do it from here where you can lift up the blacks totally and then to the next extent where you like it so i'll just bring up the blacks slightly next i'll go to the hsl tab and this is where i do most of my work so if you see here there are three sections the hue saturation and luminance and there is also a small icon on each of these tabs so what it does is when you turn on this icon and click anywhere in the image it will sample that particular pixel or the color value of the pixel and increase or change the hue saturation and luminance values so when you are in saturation tab and this is on you can click on the blues and if you drag up it will increase the saturation of blue you can see the slider is moved towards the right so now i want to increase the saturation of the orange so what I'll do is I'll click here and drag up. So I don't like the blue to be royal blue or this saturated blue. So what I'll do is I'll go to hue and change the blue to somewhere like teal or whatever you want. You can change it to teal or magenta, whatever you want. I like teal. 
and then you can change this yellows to slightly orange so i don't like this brightly saturated green so what i can do is i can go to luminance and bring down slightly the greens then i'll move on to saturation remove the saturation reduce saturation from the green slightly and then i'll go to hue and change the hue of the green to somewhere like this next if you still want to reduce the saturation or make it darker what you can do is you can simply create a radial filter and make it less saturated or darken it or whatever you want to do so by applying this radial filter you are only affecting the pixels in this circle next what i want to do is i want to reduce the oranges and the yellows from the foreground so in order to do that i'll take a graduated filter put it somewhere here like this introduce some blue from the temperature and reduce the saturation you can also increase the contrast and lift up the image on the bottom part then what i'll do is i'll add some vignette to my image i'll go to the effects section and in post crop vignetting i'll just decrease the vignette to something like this not too much not too crazy very subtle then in the calibration settings what we can do is we can mess up with this channels the three channels red green and blue and change the look of the image very dramatically so here i'll just increase the reds a little bit change the hue of the red change the hue of the green and i'll decrease the hue of the blue so what this does is it's creating a teal and orange effect then i would like to add a radial filter down here since this is my subject i want viewers to focus in this region so i'll just increase the so i'll just increase the exposure a little bit and there you have it this is what it is right now and this is what it was before the editing moving on to the next image the first thing i want to do is i want to bring down the highlights of the sky so that i can have some details in the sky and see some clouds and patterns in the sky so first thing what i can do is i can reduce the highlight from this section so if you see the histogram again you can see the highlights is way cranked up alternatively what you can do is you can just go to the highlight section slide the highlights down bring down the exposure a little bit have some details in the sky so if you see this image you can see this is as far as you can go on bringing down the highlights since this part of the sky was overexposed and it had too many information for the camera to collect and this is actually clamping the image by clamping what it means is there is no information stored in this part of the image and you can't get any details out of it so that is the most important point is shooting underexposed because shooting underexposed has all the details you can get back all the details from the shadow part but it's very difficult to get the information from the overexposed and bright parts next what i would like to do is bring up the shadows a little bit i'll straight away go to the hsl go to hue go to saturation increase the saturation of the blue increase the saturation of the yellows and the orange then i'll go to hue and this time i am going to change the blue to something purplish next what i would like to do is i am going to use a radial filter in the center of the subject the temperature and bring down the temperature of the center part of this image make it look cooler because i don't want so much of yellows and oranges in this part of the shot so i can simply mask this area and make it a little cooler i'll just brighten up this adjust the saturation a little bit then and maybe overall you can change the color temperature 
slightly yeah so there you have it this is what it was previously before the editing and this is what it is right now then moving on to the third image we have this shot which was shot during the sunset the same thing if you want to increase the blacks you can do it from here i would like to do it from the sliders where i would just lift up the shadows and make a little contrast second i'm going to add some clarity and i am going to change the white balance to more yellow then i'll go to the calibration so what i'll do is i'll just increase the hue of the red so that it becomes more yellowish and the green so that it becomes a little orangish and i am not going to change the hue of the blue this time rather i'll go to the hsl settings change the hue of this blue then i'll go to saturation and vibrance i'll increase the saturation and vibrance of the shot and go to saturation increase the saturation of blues and the oranges just enough to not break the image i have too much of saturation going on in the sky so what i can do is i can selectively select the area with an adjustment brush and paint over the area where you want to effect and i can reduce the saturation i can change the temperature a little bit i can bring down the highlights if you want and you can see this has already desaturated the yellows from the sky bring up the exposure a slightly bring down the highlights some more and maybe add some more clarity to the image so i'm boosting up the clarity too much and then i'll add some vignetting to the image i'm creating a gradient filter in the bottom and bring the exposure down a little bit make it little contrast increase the clarity so next i might want to add a radial filter in the center of this image and get some exposure up in this area it becomes more attractive and the center part is the main focus to, to kill the blacks in the and to neutralize the blacks what i'll do is i'll just lift up the blacks slightly not much not overdoing this so that it creates a more cinematic and filmic look so there you have it so this is what it looks right now and this is what it was initially oh sorry cheese balls i love cheese balls so thank you for watching this video and i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you really like this please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button i'm gonna make more of these videos relating to filmmaking and photography and i hope you really support me uh, you can like me on instagram and facebook and really spread this until then see you next time let me finish my cheese balls